Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. What is it, outsider? If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones. There's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. 
Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Have you seen her? The... You said you talked to her. Thanks. Thanks for dropping it off. Like I said. Keep looking.
Keep looking. Eat this.
Hello. I see the power's back on. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Hello, outsider. Need something? An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Hey there. Here's the rest. Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. Fucking expensive to get into the strip these days. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Nelson will serve as an example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone. Lafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran.
Have you seen her? Loyal's a great man. How is your visit with us going, stranger? Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret... Good work with those... Have you seen her? She does? You mean it? What happens next? Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming, and not... Hello again. How's your boomer? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away... Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Welcome back. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just this once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Welcome back. Most merchant companies, successful merchant companies rather, have them. It can be inconvenient to replace employees on short notice. The contracts keep employees around for a specific duration of time after which they get paid, after their upkeep and expenses are deducted, of course.
Food, water, living quarters, medicine and clothes, just the basic stuff. It all comes out of the company's coffers. Yes, and they have been for decades now. The hired hands know what they're signing up. That's because we are. We always pay up when the contract ends, though. Won't stay in business long if you've got a reputation as a cheat. Certainly. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the new Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market, and the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Welcome back. The co Welcome to the Grub and Gulp. Anything else I can do for you? Give me a shout if you need anything else.
Good to see a friend of our government. The NCR appreciates good citizens like you. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of... And all of this... All... Precise... The bounty... We need only... Isn't it? One directs one's effort. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22... Plants are spilling from their... Vaults typically contain a server room. I thought it was a fairly straight down. Yes? So From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation, even out here in the waste. Was there anything else? Did Dr. Hildern this really I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? No. I knew the danger wouldn't. I'm not trying to scare you off the job. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. That's all I ask. Go on through, soldier.
welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I am ready to process our transaction. I don't handle buying and selling for the gunrunners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off-limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Looking for a fix, man? Thanks. Till next time. Check it out. Between the... Nah, just some idiot. for the sky, mister. This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it. 
You mean it? I bet me and Stacy can get something. That guy has hundreds of kills, not all of them deserving of death. Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the... He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't say... Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected. I understand. No hard feelings. But you will, of course, keep our conversation... Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? 
They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. What did you just say to me? Cause you sure as hell got my attention now. That's fair. But there's been that voice inside me saying the same thing, and Whiskey wasn't killing it. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. I feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. You got one. Fine by me. What is it? If that's what you think. All right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer. And you come around like a bad hap. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? So fighting boredom is your argument. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? That's great! I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Hello? 
holding my breath. Welcome back. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those... to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Personal space meaning anything to you guys? Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table is more friendly. Shove off, you're making my luck turn bad. Fuck no! No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? What? No, no, wait! Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. Yep. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. We've got the basics covered, but... Now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay your finder's fees. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Find escorts to fill the positions, and I'll pay double.
Welcome back. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. What would you like to know? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass pro Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the number... Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps in explosive devices for some reason. We make it a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. McLaughlin. Great to finally meet you. Thank you for getting me. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. Sorry, I'm no glad time you to made talk, it out outsider. Here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Thank you for getting me here. Yeah. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next.
we may see the super fortress built in my lifetime. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Ain't nothing creepy about it. It's a term of respect. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been... You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems... Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working. I've never been so happy in my entire life. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go, a new rebreather. We're hunting shitheads.
I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter.
Bad guys won't see us coming. up some hurt.
It's going to be a dream come true one. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. I just told you. We've got that covered. Let's just say there. Whatever you're... Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl... What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I'd like to pay my respects to the end. <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost, so I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit, so the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Got word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the leap, I got the... Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were ex If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer... God, there's almost nothing left. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn looks like... disintegrated. So close to the Vegas Wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Not sure. Let's look around. We should check the wagon. They may not Whatever we find, it's yours. You know what? What happened? One of our caravans. I wonder if he made this.
More energy weapons hit this. Let's poke around. What's that? Look, they've marked another spot. It's not...
Another caravan burned. Except someone made camp here. Let's look. That does it. That's all. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning the... I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and... NC... That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion... Alright. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm gonna start shooting, no matter what you find. You find any evidence? You find any evidence? So there's just one more safe to crack? Say what you will about the two leading ladies. They watch their lockers like crows. Still, if you get both, then let's talk. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping. I'll hold it. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. I'm going to have to search you before. This should only take a moment. There. I've stored all of your weapons. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. 
Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah. I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. People are Show's over. Back to work. Hey. Welcome to the Silver Rush.
Welcome to the Silver Rush. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. Welcome back. What? Another satisfied cast. Welcome back. What can I get? Great. I'll let the town. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. <laughs> Let's deal.
You find any evidence yet? No shit. There it is. The... But... We got it. Now what? Sure, the... Well, Jackson and the Mojave Outpost could get it to the folks in the West. I wouldn't trust anyone closer to the Colorado. And the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs have... All right, let's... Doing a lot of good work. Is well worth the price of admission. One more story for you. Residents of Novak were running for cover following the failed launch of three rockets from the Repcon testing. Possible causes suggested were engineering mistakes. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more rockets for piloting. What is it? All right. This is. This explains a lot of. I can. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alec. I know some things are hard to let go. But you and Miss K I can promise that. What happens after? God, what a mess. If the Republic's for what it's worth. Appreciate the help. You're the one who's been... Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Hit the road. Well, that's settled. No. No, I know. Just hard to say how I feel right now. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when Ryle, is gonna be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me and my men. That was some...
You look new to free... The name's Old Ben. I've been living... Those bots are programmed to vaporize any... I've done a bit of everything around here. Some... Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. I'm retired. Ah, I get you. I got... Submit to a credit check. Space meaning anything to you, guy? Let's roll out. All right, let's roll. Save the sweet talk for when the shooting's done. Well, that's settled.
over here. Come on. doing it. 